Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to see what is the difference between linked list and array list. So without any further ado, let's get started. So within the Java collection framework, we have the list interface which has been implemented by the other classes. Now out of them, array list and link list are the two classes that implements the list interface. So let's go ahead and see what is the difference between array list and link list. So if we go ahead with the default syntax available, like how we can create the link list or array list, it's very simple. Here you can see I'm in my Java project here. And to create the array list, what I can do, I can just directly say array list here. I can import the package and we can define the type as well like which type of array list that we want to create suppose i'm going to create string type then i can just define array list equals to new array list and this is diamond operator that we have given and your array list is declared here now for the link list you can do the same thing you can use the link list class here link list class and you can define the type as well i'm going to define string and here I'm going to define link list equals to new link list. Okay, so you can see that declaring an array list and link list is pretty much the same thing. Now, let's add some of the elements here. Now, to add the elements within the array list, what you will do, you will just do array list dot add method, and you can define the name here. I'm just defining the name which is of type string. Okay. And the same thing I can do with the link list as well. So I can do link list dot add Shabir. Now you can see that both of them array list and link list is having the add method. This is because link list and array list both is implementing the list interface and list interface have the bunch of methods defined that has been implemented by all these particular classes. The same happens for the other bunch of operations as well like to get the data to remove the data and to check if the data is available or not all kinds of operation those are available in the list interface so if you go ahead and see if i go ahead and do control click or command click here i will be able to open this array list and link list class and here you can see that array list is implementing the list interface okay and if you go to list interface you can see bunch of methods available that is size is empty contains iterator to array all these methods are available and all these methods are implemented by array list and the link list as well now you see that both are implementing the list interface but both of them is having the different implementation of all these particular methods so we need to understand what is the difference between all those particular methods like what is the difference how those differences are being implemented and which one to use at what particular time so let's go ahead and see that so if you go to the array list here array list works on the principle or works behind the scene with the help of the array so if i give you the example how array list works is array list will be having the array over here this way my drawing is really bad so just try to understand from here okay so it will be having the uh, array over here this way okay by default the size of the array would be 10 so whenever we create the object of an array list behind the scene it will create the array of size 10 which will be empty so and whenever we do array list dot add so this is the operation like array list dot add at that particular time it will try to add the values suppose i added value 1 over here so it will be inserted over here then suppose i added value 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 6 7 and 8 Okay, there will be a couple of more elements because the default size would be 10. Now, this is the array that is behind the array list. So, this is what array list looks like behind the scene. Now, if you go ahead with the link list, link list will define the same way, like link list will be having the nodes. So, if I give you the link list example, okay, link list will be having the nodes and each of the nodes will be pointing to the other nodes. So, suppose if I give you an example, this will be the node and this node will be having three fields one will be the value suppose the value is one one will be the previous value let me just give p over here and one will be the next value so what is the next node available so it will be having three fields and the first node available 
would be pointing to the first node itself or you can say that it's a head node or first node okay head node or first node itself and there will be another nodes available so let me just create another node then there will be another nodes so this way it will be having different nodes available and the middle element will be having the value suppose it's having two it's having three and this will be the previous nodes address so previous node is this so it will be having the address of this okay and this particular will be having the address of the next node so the next node is this so it will be having that particular address okay so this way you can see that both are connected together so both the nodes will be connected together one will be having the address of the previous and one will be having the address of the next same way you are as well okay so here you can see that it is forming a double linked list so within the linked list class internally it's creating a double linked list and when it's a head node the previous of the head node would be null value because it's the first node itself there is no node before that particular element before head so the previous of the head node would be the null and the last point over here that should be called the tail element or the last element last node itself so the next of the tail or next of the last node would be null because after that there is no node available so this will be the structure of the doubly linked list behind the linked list class so we got to understand how the internal working is like how the internal structure of the array list is and how the internal structure of the linked list is here if you see the array for the array list whenever the new node or whenever the new element is going to be inserted what it will do is it will try to insert the data one by one one it one will be added at the first position then the next position the next position okay and for the linked list what, what it can be done is whenever we try to insert new node or new element a new node is created and the node is attached at the starting of the element or the end of the element wherever we want to add now let's take the example where we want to insert at any particular place so suppose i want to insert data after three okay in the array list okay so let's take the example for that so what it will do is what it has to do is to insert the data at this particular point what array list has to do is array list has to create the new element okay new array itself so it will create a new array and it will be having new array and what we have to do is we have to add all these elements suppose one two and suppose I want to add five at position three. So I'm adding five here and then whatever the elements are there. So we have to shift those elements three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, this is the operation that we have to do. So adding the element itself is not easy in the array list where we have to do the shifting as well. So whenever you want to add a element at any particular place, we have to add that and the rest of the elements we need to shift the same happens for removing as well suppose i want to remove this particular three element over here okay at that time what i have to do is i have to remove that element and the rest of the element are there all these elements i have to shift all those elements so what it will do is behind the scene is it will create the new array okay and it will add all the elements here one two and whatever the elements we have to remove that will remove and rest of the elements will be shifted to this place four five six seven eight so this way the add and remove operation will work in array list so you can see just to add the element and remove the element we are doing a lot of operation we are just getting the element and we are shifting the elements and we are creating a new array and we are adding all the data okay and the other thing suppose by default the size of my array is 10 okay that's what internally array list will create suppose we are creating more data so what it has to do is it has to create the new array suppose my entire array is full now and now i'm trying to add any extra elements what it has to do is it has to create the new array which is 50 percent more the size or which is having size greater than the capacity itself okay but internally it uh, doubles up to 50 percent so it will create a new array with size more than the capacity and it will pick all the elements it will copy all the values from this array to this array like one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव एवरीथिंग एंड लास्ट वॉट एवर द न्यू एलिमेंट दैट न्यू एलिमेंट विल बी एडेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर एरे सो यू कैन सी बिहाइंड द सीन दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट वी आर डूइंग वैन वी आर वर्किंग विद द एरलिस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एडिंग एंड रिमूविंग द डेटा बट इफ यू गो हैड एंड सी द लिंक लिस्ट वॉट हैपन्स यर इज लेट मी जस्ट जूम इन लिटिल बिट सो यर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव द डिफरेंट नोट्स अवेलेबल विद इन द लिंक लिस्ट एंड all the nodes are attached together so first node so i have a first node and second node both nodes are attached with the next and previous values that we have within the node itself so suppose i want to add one node over here after the position 1 so i can have one node available and that node is having value 2 or suppose we already have 2 so let me just give 4 so this node is what i want After one and before two. So rather than creating a new array or anything, what simply we have to do is simply it only does is it just rewires everything. Rather than uh, this first node pointing to two directly, what it will do is it will just remove that particular connection from here, and then it will have the connection from here to here. Okay, this previous for this particular node, previous element would be assigned this particular node. and the next of this element would be assigned to this particular node and for this particular fourth node the next will be assigned to this node and the previous of this node will be assigned to this node so now you can see the chain is completed now and the new element is been inserted at a particular point so we don't have to traverse through anything or we don't have to create the new structure and to add all the elements after it okay simple thing now the same way happens for removing the element in the linked list suppose we have the linked list and suppose i just want to remove this element okay at number 4 or the value 4 what it just have to do is we have to just rewire it everything we just will remove this connection internally okay remove the connection and we will just rewire it the next will be pointed here and the previous will be pointed here and this particular node will be remained there for garbage collection so that particular node will be garbage collected we don't have to worry about anything for that so you can see we just easily remove the element and the entire link list is now connected and we have all the nodes available so with this we can easily identify that whenever there is a add or remove operations or there is a operation that we want to do adding or deleting or updating at that particular time link list performs better than the array list now what if we want to get the data so Let's take the example of the array again. Now, as array list stores the data in the array itself, array have the index itself. So, all the data, the entire array will be having the index. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Okay. So, whenever we want to get any data, we can just specify that I want the data at this particular index. So, suppose I want the index at four. So it will just pick the index 4 from here directly and it will return the 5 so you can see that getting the data from the array list is very easy directly from the index itself we can get the data because array will be having the index based structure and whatever the index we define we can directly easily get the data so the time complexity for getting the data at any particular point or any index would be constant because we just define that we want the data at this particular index and we will be getting the data from that particular index directly from the array itself but on the other hand from the link list suppose i want the data from here that is the this particular element okay and it has more extra nodes as well considering there are different nodes available and this node is connected here this node is connected here again back okay so all the nodes are available suppose i have i want this particular node so link list doesn't have the index based Uh, searching available because it's just having the node and all the nodes are connected with next and previous values so what it has to do is it has to traverse through all the nodes and it has to find the value suppose i want the data from the third index that means the third node available so it has to start from here that is the zeroth node that is my head node with the index 0 we can uh, handle the index so it has to go through this node then from that to this node because this particular node will be having the reference to that particular node okay so it will go to here this node will be having the reference to this node so we'll go to this node and the index will be keep increasing so the moment we will reach the same index that we want to get the data till that we will go and we will return this particular 
value. So you can see that the complexity to get the data from the linked list would be the index that we provide. So suppose we have the n nodes available and I want the nth index, then the time complexity would be O of n. So it will be a very time consuming or inefficient solution when we want to get the data. So suppose we have the thousands or 2000 or 5000 uh, nodes available and I want the 4000 node available from that particular link. So what I have to do is I have to traverse through all those nodes to reach that particular node. And from that I want to get the data and from that I will be getting that data. So that's how generally linked list works when you want to get the data. So from these two linked list and array list example, we can identify that which particular data structure has to be used where. So whenever your application and whenever your logic is more heavily dependent on getting the data at that time, you should use the array list data structure. And whenever you are more focused on adding, removing or updating the data at that time, you should focus and you should use the linked list data structure. So that's the two biggest use cases that you can identify and you can remember. And this will be helpful in your interview questions as well, where you will be asked what is the difference between linked list and array list. You can explain this way like how the internal structure is and which particular data structure is better in which kind of operation. Linked list is better in addition, deletion and updation operations and array list is more efficient when you want to get the data. And that also, if you have a very small list, it wouldn't impact much. But if you have a very large list at that particular time, you will see the efficiency of these two data structures. So this is what I wanted to share how internally both works and how you can identify which one to use at what particular time. If you find this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel and join my channel to support me. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.